For anyone who has been watching the channel for quite a while now, you would probably know that one of my favorite players in the whole entire NBA does actually happen to be Contavious Cardwell Pope, aka KCP. When I say this guy is genuinely one of the best role players in the NBA, to the point where some nights he is the best role player in the NBA, I truly mean it. And I mean, not only does his stats really show exactly what I'm saying, but also his, you know, credentials as well, that he has two championships with the Los Angeles Lakers and the Denver Nuggets, legitimately just being the ultimate role player. And the reason I am bringing up the Lord and Savior, the second coming of Jesus Christ himself, KCP, is because the Orlando Magic actually went out and did one of the most important things that they needed to do all free agency. And not only was that signing a good three-point shooter, but also bring in another wing to be able to help out this team. And what do they go and do? They go and sign KCP away from the Denver Nuggets, a competing team in the NBA, and they sign him for a big three-year deal worth about $22 million, it's being said at the time of making this video. And this is legitimately the perfect signing by the Orlando Magic. I know there were a lot of rumors that they were really heavily trying to go out and get Paul George. By the time I'm making this video, maybe they have even gotten him. I doubt it, but you really never know in the NBA. I got no idea where that man is legitimately gonna sign. We know they were really interested in him. They were really interested in Clay Thompson. They were really interested in just a bunch of players who can be really elite three-point shooters while being able to be, you know, elite perimeter defenders as well. And they arguably just signed the most consistent one who has helped two teams to winning a championship. Again, on both of those championship teams, he not only was like the best three-point shooter on both of them, but he was pretty much like nearly the best perimeter defender on both of them as well. This signing by the Orlando Magic is not being spoken about enough as being a move that can potentially help the Magic go from a young, inexperienced, um, you know, team that just made the first round and got beaten by the Cavaliers to a team who I genuinely believe now could really take that next step and be a good, uh, really good second round team. And again, continue to add more and more to this. Obviously, we will probably see them be championship contenders in absolutely no time. And that's just the reality of things. This really makes me upset and jealous as a Cavaliers fan, knowing that KCP ideally would have been the perfect player for us to sign. We just unfortunately had the salary cap one off season too early. Again, Max Drews wasn't a bad player to bring in, but I don't think people understand truly how much better of a player KCP is than a guy like Max Drews. Again, Max Drews will have a bad game where he will shoot, you know, bad from bad from three-point land. That might happen once every four games or something like that. KCP is genuinely like once every six to ten games, and even if he does have a bad game from three-point land, he's still going to be a better perimeter defender uh, than what a guy like Max Struess is genuinely going to be. I think he's extremely underrated. This is a massive loss by the Denver Nuggets. I don't think they are going to be happy losing him at all. And realistically, you've got a really good thing going on right now in Orlando. I still think they need to find a better center. They may need to find a point guard who's a better playmaker than what they have, but Again, Anthony Black is supposed to be that guy. It's only been one season. He will develop into that. So if you're going to have a starting five of, in the future, what could possibly be like Anthony Black at the one when he gets his playmaking up right now, probably Jalen Suggs. At the two, KCP. At the three, Franz Wagner. The four, Paolo Banquero. The five, whoever they bring in in center in the future. If not, Wendell Carter is still a good option. That is a really good team. And... It, it, it does make me really want to see what this Orlando team is going to look like now with some more consistent three-point shooting because that's what lost them the series against the Cavaliers, inexperience and lack of three-point shooting. 
but you've just added one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA who is also one of the better perimeter defenders. So realistically, the Orlando Magic just signed one of the best role players in the NBA who on some nights can be legitimately the best role player in the league. Again, we've seen the two championships to legitimately back up everything what I'm saying right now. And I think KCP wants a third one and he, we could be starting to see him as like a player like Danny Green, who was one of the better role players in the league for so long. He got a chip with three different NBA teams and was competing for the last couple of years of his whole career. I think KCP is going to be one of those guys that could very well go for a third chip. Is that going to be with the Magic? Who knows? But I think for their plans, it definitely will be. And yeah, this was overall a really good signing and they got him for free. They really lost Joe Ingles, who helped the team out when he needed to. I don't know if he really has much more left to offer for this team, and I don't think that's why. I think that's why they're probably not going to bring him back. But again, realistically, this is a very elite signing by the Orlando Magic, and I think they have done an extremely good job. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. Do you guys think this was a good signing by the Orlando Magic? Uh, or do you guys not? I'd very much like to know. Subscribe to my gaming channel, MLIRL slash flowing channels. Links for them will also be in the description down below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.